We're at the very top of New Zealand. We're racing all the way to the bottom. And to do it, we've turned the country's entire highway system into a giant board game, but it's 8 a.m., so we gotta go, 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 go. Oh my God, this is for real. All right, come on, man, we can do this. Okay, so we have to race to our cars. But uh, while we do that, we're gonna cut to a sequence that explains all the rules. So here's how the game works. We're here. The first team to get here, lookout point at the very bottom of New Zealand, wins. There are a number of different routes to get there, and the teams will have to choose their paths very carefully. The trouble is, all of the paths are blocked by challenges. Lots of them. In order to clear a path to the finish, teams must complete these challenges, which will unlock the next stretch of highway. Once a stretch of highway is unlocked, it's unlocked for everyone, by the way, not just for the team that cleared it, which means that while it can be hard to get far ahead, it's often not that hard to catch up. But teams need to be careful, because as a reward for completing a challenge, they'll earn coins, which they can spend on power-ups, power-ups they can use to sabotage their opponents. We'll explain more about power-ups and some other rules later on, but for now, let's get back to a foot race between four nerds to see which team can get to their car and get out of Cape Reina first. So the road is really uphill. My weakness is running up hills, so I must try not to slow them down too much. Oh, I'm very out of shape, and I'm wearing overalls. But finally, Sam has a teammate who's just as slow as me. <sighs> All right, this is our car for the season. His name is Dan. You can see it says so there. We gotta go, because we have to get to the first challenge. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna pick Toby up over there. I think Adam's doing the same for Ben. Okay. Oh. I gotta get in on the other side of the car. Let's go, let's go, 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 Oh, we've done it, Toby. Nice job. Okay, well, they're, they're breaking the law. They're breaking the law. They're driving on the right side of the road. All right, suckers. See if you can catch up. Okay, so right now we are on the same path to start with. Because there's only one highway up here. But the first challenge is in about 20 minutes. We'll explain how that works in VO. Okay, this is the first challenge. The team to do it first will claim its reward and clear the path for both teams. If no team is able to complete the challenge, it may be cleared by vetoing in exchange for a time penalty and no reward. Sandboard at the Topaki Sand Dunes. One team member must successfully sandboard down a dune of at least 50 feet in height without falling. Sam loves skiing. He's uh, tried to tell me many times that skiing will not give him an advantage for snowboarding. Well, like, I, yeah, skiing is I very different than snowboarding, and this is different than snowboarding. I think I should have an advantage, but I don't want to overstate it. This is make and break for the for the next uh, junctions. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, we really want to be at that next one first because I think that's like there's probably I think a clear best route. By the way, who are you? I'm Toby. I run the YouTube channel Tibbies, make math and science videos. I did grow up in New Zealand went to school, went to university here, but I haven't really explored my own backyard, so this is really my chance to do that. Oh, I see dunes up ahead. Oh, shoot. Look over there. There they are in the distance. Do you want to rip off the their dunes. iconic line? Dunes, 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 dunes. I thought you were a massive jet lag fan. You don't remember dunes? We have to sandboard down Denis Villeneuve's dune. Oh my God, here we are. All right, we gotta, we gotta run once we get out so we get to the top of the dune, first dune first. Okay, here we go. Out of the way, boys. This way. Oh. No, wait, that looks tall. No, come on. Which, no, which? No, 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 this way, this way. I just didn't lock the car and they thought I was manipulating them. Uh, are you sure about the long grass? Let's go this way. Going to go low. Well, it's a good thing. It's a good oh, thing boy. that there are no snakes in New Zealand. we get across here? Oh, God. These dunes are not very inviting. No, we're so far ahead. 
We meet again then. I think we're gonna be meeting again many times, Toby. Oh, hell no. Ah, oh, that's wet shoes for the rest of the day. This is way too much physical exercise. So the deal is, um, if they don't get it on their first try, we have to try. We're down here praying that they make it. This seems very steep. All right, here we go. Oh boy, this is slower than I expected. Ben says I suck. This is so much slower than I expected. Go, Sam, you're gonna make it, you're gonna make it. Stop. I think I've done it. You've got it, Sam, you've got it. Oh. Well, I'm sorry that that was not nearly as dramatic as we expected it to be. Turns out these don't go really fast. We even waxed them last night. Right. Turns out they don't catch up. They're also walking, but... Now we're off. Yeah. So, uh, it's probably going to take a minute to get our board in the car. Our car's a little pain. Out of the way, Adam. <laughs> Got the board. Come on, Dan. Come on, Dan. If we leave before them, we get that distance between us and them. So we want to go, even though that we're allowed to be first. Yeah, because they were taking their time getting their board in and stuff. Um, really terrible news. I've left my jacket. Um, so I have to go get it. This is not ideal. Right, there, there's our lead. Let's go. Let's bye, go. bye, Adam. We're never going to see you again. Sam, this is your season. This is our season. This is, we're, we're in, in it to lead. win it. We, I am never in the lead at the start. There it is. All right, so we've got a little coin store here, a little power-up store. And 15 coins Just to spend. And 15 coins to spend. So let's see what we've got. Here's how the power-ups work. At any point in the game, teams can use the store where they spend coins on one of the five power-ups. The first buys you a single nerf dart. Both teams have a nerf gun, and if you can hit the other team with a nerf bullet at any point during the game, it freezes them for 30 minutes. Next, you've got roadblocks. These get drawn at random from the roadblock deck and can be thrown down behind you on your route. If your opponents encounter it, they must complete its challenge before they continue forward. The third power-up allows you to turn your tracker off for 45 minutes, hiding your location from your opponents. Then you've got curses, which get drawn from the curse deck. These can be used to curse your opponents from anywhere on the map at any time and will slow them down in some unexpected way. Finally, for 100 coins, you can skip a challenge without completing it while still leaving it on the map for your opponents to deal with. A cheeky little nerf gun here. But that's really interesting because they have no way of getting a nerf bullet right now. They have no coins. Oh, no coins, sorry. So yeah. like, if we have a nerf bullet, we can prevent them from doing stuff because they're not going to come anywhere close to us. The important parts of the game are going to be these choke points where we're yeah. forced to end up on the same road. Um, so on the map, it diverges in plenty of places, but it tends to always come back together at these choke points. Mm -hmm. And those roads, since we can guarantee that we'll both be driving down them, might get chock-a-block full of roadblocks. I'm leaning towards just saving our money for now. Well, I think it depends on what they do at the intersection. <sighs> All right, well, we're a little behind, but that's okay. So the next intersection is Awanui. Yeah, and uh, basically it's a pretty simple choice. The east route is all about luck. There are three challenges, they're all luck-based, and there's a shortcut that you can take if you get lucky on one of the challenges. The west route is longer, but all of the challenges are much more reliable. I mean, 
frankly, my mindset is that given that we're this far behind, we just need to go whichever way they didn't go. Yeah. So that we can get some power up points. Basically how these games are designed is like, Ben, Adam and I, we all do like the big picture design. And then when it comes to the more operational work, like coming up with challenges and doing like the play testing, that's what they do while I'm off doing all those nerdy educational channels and stuff. Um, and that means that like, they know the core strategy of the game really, really well. I, I've known that and myself and my partner have usually done like a bit of an underdog strategy, like a, like a high risk, high reward strategy to kind of compensate for that. But I'm realizing what that means is like, it's like letting Ben and Adam do the strategy that they're most comfortable with, which is not smart because then they're going to yeah. do it really we, well. We want to force them off that a little bit. Yeah. We want to force them to do things that maybe they weren't hoping to do or, or that they thought in their minds planning it would be optimal. Yes. We both have, I think, the same preference for which road to take. I, yeah, I think we want to turn left. There, there's a shorter yeah. road. It's the one that, yeah, goes goes along the east coast. So we, we'll turn left at the junction and um, it involves getting lucky in a few instances. So yeah. it's a shorter road. But if we get unlucky with some of these challenges, it could end up being a lot longer. Sam likes to take risks. I bet you that they're going on the luck route. I would I would guess that they'd go on the luck route as well, which is okay, because we could just do the other one. We're coming up to our first turn off here. So we definitely want to turn left, right? We're turning left. We're going right. on the get lucky route. Turning left. Okay, so let's pull up the tracker and uh, see what the boys do. It looks like they're going on the luck route. Okay, okay, well, we're approaching it now. Do we want to follow them? I think, you know, it, it, we could stay closer behind them, but I think we want to earn some power-up points. We have none. Uh, yeah, no, you're right. I don't want to risk not getting any power-up points by the time of, like, the next intersection. Yeah. So I think we split up. We'll go on the safe route. Earn some points. Yeah. And then we can we can start messing with them. Yeah. Oh, no, but we can, oh, uh, we can shoot I them. I think they drove past. I think they drove past the junction. I think they're going right. I think that's the right move. I think them. they are. I, I yeah. Think, look, they're, they're not coming. <laughs> OK. All right. That's, I think that's what I would do if I were them. Because, of the, because they know that we could have shot them and froze them for 30 minutes. Sure, yeah. So I think they want to do the, you know, they want to hedge their bets and do the safer route. Well, the first challenge along this safe route uh, is in a town called Kaitaia. Make a plentiful sandwich at Kaitaia. Kaitaia means plentiful food. Construct a sandwich with items from four different stores or restaurants. At least one of the items must be from a restaurant that is not a fast food chain. At the Kaitaia welcome sign, take at least one hearty bite. I might take more than one hearty bite. I'm yeah, hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Let's make a good sandwich. And look, look, we are in Kaitaia now. The signs say Kaitaia. Show the signs. There's a, well, so we're going to be passing by a pack and save almost immediately. OK, pack and save is going to be good. Um, this is pack and save. This is, I guess, like a popular, it feels like Costco, I think. Yeah, it has Costco vibes. You want to see something cool? I would love to see something cool. There's more sand? That rocks. That's going to keep happening for the rest of the game. Sandwich ingredient number one. Bread. This seems fine. Whew. Vogel's original mixed grain bread. I hope that that's a New Zealand brand. If it's not, I'm sorry. It's called toast. Is that what they call bread? Maybe. That doesn't make any sense. All right, we're a few minutes from Cooper's Beach now. This is where we're going to have to dig a hole. The depth is yet to be decided. Dig a lucky hole at Cooper's Beach. Roll a die. Multiply that number by six. Dig a hole of that depth in inches at Cooper's Beach. So, I mean, this definitely is made or break, make, make or break on the roll, so we gotta get lucky. If we get a six or a five, 
that's gonna, that's gonna take a minute, I think. Oh no. Sam, that's not a one. I know, <laughs> oh damn, okay. Oh no, oh look at that, that is. Uh, that is a lot. Oh. Oh, that's a lot. All right, let's find a good spot. That was brutal, literally the worst aye, possible aye, aye. option. <laughs> oh, here's a good stick. This I'm liking stick. the moistness of the soil. Let's, uh, the footprints are sinking right in. Do you have any ideas for approach, Toby? Just keep digging. Okay, this is like some kind of grocery something. Okay. Uh, this says it's tasty. All right. There's something that a lot of people don't know, Ben. In New Zealand, they drive on the left side of the road. So that is something I'm focused on. I just sort of keep repeating to myself, left side of the road. That's some fun New Zealand trivia. What's fun about that trivia is that if you forget that fun fact, you'll uh, die. We'll, we'll be dead. Catching some pippies in the sand while we're at it. What are those? Uh, little shells. It's already 16, wow, okay. Uh, the problem is it's collapsing in on itself. And we got some water in there. You know we what? got some avalanches. That's dirt, I'm hitting dirt. We're not gonna be able to go deeper. You have, you have hit solid or? Yeah. You feel that? Yeah, yeah, it was either a large like stone or, yeah, or a stone. Yeah, I think we need a drier spot. Aye, aye, aye. Oh man, okay. Fill it in so that no one gets yeah. hurt. Okay, let's go maybe over there. All right, we gotta pick up the pace. All right, time to get our last two ingredients. We do have to get something from a restaurant. Probably don't want to do more cheese. No. Oh, there's cured meats. Here yeah. we go. Thank you. What do you think, over here, here? I don't know if there, this is going to be hard. It's a lot drier, but at least it probably won't fill with water here. And hopefully it'll be deeper. Let's get digging again. Ah, oh, there's shells. There's so many shells. It's, it's just turning into pure shell. Uh, I'm wondering if we should bore it. This is getting so shelly so fast. Yeah, that's only like 14 inches. Ah, uh, that six has really done us dirty. Brutal, damn. Maybe let's go walk that way, see if there's a better spot. This is just gonna take forever here. Third time lucky. Maybe. All right, we're making so we're really good progress, really good time. A non-fast food, non -fast food restaurant. restaurant. So far, things aren't looking good. There's a, this place just says Chinese food Yeah, there. that's gonna take too long, man. That place just says cappuccino. Could we go inside of cappuccino? Turkish restaurant is open. Oh, baby. Yeah, there, there'll be something fast there. Yeah, 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 this is okay. perfect. Just a side of falafel would be great. Thank you very much, I appreciate you. Okay, amazing time on that one. Great work, great work, great work. Like here, maybe? Like, I feel like that's gotta be deep enough. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're balancing two variables. Sogginess and the water coming in. Oh, that's kind of a good being too close to land and hitting Oh, that land. is getting pretty close. Look, it's promising so far. This is not yeah, too bad. Yeah, I think as long as we don't hit the bottom again, There he goes, see, Kaitaya has a famous uh, welcome sign that's in three languages. So we start with um, Vogel's original mixed grain toast. We're gonna go with one slice of that. And then, Ben, why don't you put on some, I believe it's pepperoni salami, which I think you can just call pepperoni, but that's fine. And now I think the falafel. Some and then I think we're just there. gonna sort of smash yeah. that. Cheese. And now that's, that's, we've invented a new sandwich. This is a falafel, pepperoni, and cheddar, what is it? Cheddar. Cheddar, yeah. aged cheddar cheese uh, sandwich. We and I'm gonna it, take a hearty bite. Call it the Kaitaya Special. Is it good? Mm-hmm.
progress update. We have a sinkhole. Sam, we we in the pits here. Oh, the water is coming. Status update. Status, status update. I hope the sandwich, <laughs> I, I hope that like all the sandwich shops are closed or something. I hope their sandwich tastes like sand. That's a good sandwich. I mean, it basically just tastes like falafel. It does. Which is delicious. That, that sandwich is legitimately good. The sunk cost fallacy. Have you already dug too deep to turn around? Or should you always just keep digging? Let me see if we've gotten any deeper. Uh, I think we've gotten shallower. We're not breaking progress. Are we smart enough to realize that? No. We gotta get a move on, buddy. Okay. We are in a race. That's legitimately good. Everyone try this at home. Making pretty good time here. All I'm saying. Making pretty good time. We're gonna check their progress in a minute. See how they're doing. We, we're digging closer to depression with every scoop. I hate to say it, but what's the veto period on this one? Let me go check. 60 minutes. Oh. We need a different solution. Madness is doing the same thing over again and expecting a different result. I know. I mean, should we check if there's a better spot? We, we can check right here. Like, we, the, in a linear system, we, that's too wet. This will be drier. Where is the point where it gets too solid? I guess, yeah. Like, we... if we go halfway in here, that's like kind of a systematic way to test. Yeah, that's true. Why don't I dig next to you up here that we can get a little bit more of a test? Are they done at Cooper's Beach yet? Nope. They're still there? They are at Cooper's Beach. Man, they must have gotten really unlucky. And I don't know what Sam is thinking because he is consistently unlucky in these, That's true. these games. He has terrible, terrible luck. Still, like, it's all collapsing in down there. Can I just have a look? Yeah, I, it's filling up. It's just filling up with water and sand. Because, like, not, not only is it not keeping the structural integrity, I'm still hitting the ground. What do you think of vetoing it? I mean, can you think of anything else? I don't think so. I mean, the thing about the veto is the veto period starts now. Yeah. So if we want to veto, it's like sunk cost fallacy. We can't wait. I, I just don't. I, I mean, I really, really, really would hate to veto. They're still there? Uh, yeah. Uh, at this point, it seems like Either they're almost done or they probably had to veto it. They're yeah. not doing good. Not doing good. Off to a good start, but man, they're really gonna need to uh, get that shortcut. I'm, I'm thinking that this is just fundamentally impossible. Let's just veto it then and move on. I think, yeah, I agree. I, I really hate. Uh, I, I'm I gonna re be so depressed. I, I think it's the smart thing to do at this point. Just do it, just do it. So it's 11.05. We're gonna have to wait until 12.05. That is brutal. Sucks for them. Hashtag sucks to be them. So that's the thing about the luck route. Sometimes your luck ain't so good. Welcome to season five, everyone. We are so excited to be back. Uh, this season is gonna be quite something. Like there are actually genuinely multiple moments that I am actively worried about how hard it's gonna be to be able to convince y'all that they're not staged. It's a really dramatic season. I, I think it's gonna be really good. Um, and I can't wait for y'all to see the rest. And as y'all probably know, the show is basically paid for almost entirely by our Nebula subscribers. So this season, we are giving them more than ever. They can all watch episode two right now. If you're a Nebula subscriber watching here for some reason, go watch episode two right now on Nebula. It's, it's already up. You know, that's because we release every single episode a week early on Nebula for the entire show forever. This season, we're doing something extra. This season, we are every Wednesday night after releasing an episode on Nebula, Ben, Adam, Toby, and myself, we are recording a podcast. It's called The Layover. And basically, we're gonna be talking through our strategies, talking talking about like what happened behind the scenes, answering viewer questions. It's great, we've already recorded the first one. In fact, it's already up for the first episode, 
episode because Nebula subscribers watched the first episode last week. And we're gonna be doing it for every single episode and even through the off season. So, and that's Nebula exclusive. You have to be a Nebula subscriber to listen to that because it's, you know, it's an appreciation of the fact that again, they're paying for all of this pretty much. But these subscribers are actually getting even more than this because there's like more than a hundred other top quality creators also on Nebula who are releasing all their videos early and ad free as well. Um, and then on top of that, there's all sorts of uh, big budget Nebula originals by all these creators and they're really good and they're always coming out. Uh, for example, like just a few weeks ago, I went to the premiere of The Prince by Abigail Thorne. I already had high expectations going in, but it uh, beat my high expectations. It was genuinely like really entertaining to watch, so I definitely recommend it. And what makes Nebula even better is that if you sign up at our link, nebula.tv slash jetlag, not only will you get $20 off an annual subscription, but a portion of your subscription fee will go to us, like directly to us, for as long as you say subscribe, which, you know, not only gives us like monthly recurring revenue, which is, you know, a much more stable way for us to operate, but it also allows us to like use that revenue to be able to invest in future seasons and make them bigger and better and more frequently and all that. So, you know, you get stuff, we get stuff. It's a great deal for everyone. So click the button on the screen or head to nebula.tv slash jetlag to sign up and watch the next episode now, listen to the podcast, watch all the originals, get everything. It's a great deal. It's the best jetlag experience and it helps support us. So thanks in advance. See you next week.